understand people like to relax, enjoy themselves, and be in happy mood. Also, have fun and have a quality time. But not everything should involve damaging your body. Now, as a registered nurse, I've seen enough patients that come to the hospital with liver cirrhosis. There's different liver cirrhosis, but I'm talking about alcohol liver cirrhosis. And this is when you drink so much that it damage your liver and you can develop a side. And think of this, everything that goes into your body, medicine, food, whatever you take, liver, it has to go through the liver because liver is the one that detoxifies stuff, that processes the stuff. And alcohol damage liver, plain and simple. This is simple as that. So I'm going to play a few clips. This is, you can easily Google all these videos. You see the effect of it. See this one, liver, alcohol, liver cirrhosis. So unfortunate. One liter. That day. was me almost three years ago. What's holding you back from getting sober? She's now functioning, she's alive, and she's healthy because not everybody have the happy ending. This is another case. This is not fluid in my stomach. Hi, I'm Trina, an alcoholic addict. This condition is called ascites, and it's a buildup of fluid inside the abdomen. This can occur due to liver damage from alcohol abuse. As much as 35 liters of fluid can build up in the tummy. The fluid can be drained, but it keeps coming back. So if you or someone you love is addicted to alcohol, please seek help before something like this happens to you. And you want to think about how much is like when you come to the hospital, everything we give, we have to be mindful of the liver. We have to make sure like we do so many different stuff to make sure the liver doesn't not completely shut down. Or when even if it's shut down, there's no replacement. It's not like a kidney that you have one, you have the other one. One thing about the liver is once it's damaged or you develop liver cirrhosis, it's not coming back except you, are, except you have a transplant. And that's another problem. You want to think about the money and all that stuff that you're going to go through. You want to think about the stress. So I want young adults. I'm going to show what young adults think as fun these days. I don't understand it. Come drink with me as an alcoholic. So we got our first shot right here. Chasing the water. That's the lovely bartender. bartender. As you can see, I finished the first shot quick. I was ready to turn up. Shot number two. All right. This is shot number three when my friend showed up. All right. You know, alcohol doesn't really phase me nowadays because I kind of am an alcoholic bro. Yep. Chasing the water. All right. We got shot number four. This is when I started feeling it a little bit. Got a little tipsy after shot number four. As you can see, these shots are pretty fucking big because my friend is a bartender, so, you know, whatever. And this kilo started tasting like water at that point. So then we go to the club where I'm at shot number, I would say, seven because that was like three shots in one. That's what I'm talking about. What is chasing with water? You, there's a lot of mess on your asshole. And some people can drink, as these headlights say, a drink 20 beer a night. That's a bit too much. I don't know what is going on in your life. But I just want to say, please and please, love yourself enough to live healthy. He said in Ephesians chapter 5, verse, I'm going to read from 15 to 20. So be careful how you live. Don't live like food. But, like those who are wise, make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. Don't be drunk with wine, because that will ruin your life. It's as simple as that. It's as simple. I've seen enough patients that have died from the vascularosis complications. I've seen in a young old adult, young adult, an adult, because young adult is between 40, 18 to 40. Uh, adult is like from uh, 41 to like maybe 55 or 60, then, then you're elderly. But I've seen enough patients 
and uh, instead be filled with the Holy Spirit. Sing psalms and in a precious song among yourself and making music with the Lord in your heart. And give thanks, everything, to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It may be difficult for you to sing, to praise, to thank God when your situation doesn't look good or doesn't look appealing, but damaging your body won't do you any good. That is the reason why you want to fill yourself with the Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why you want to be prayerful. You want to think, um, hope. Um, you want to be prayerful. You want to pray and trust God because there is everything works together for those that believe in God, those that are in His will. So you want to be pray prayerful and know that God wants the best for you and you want to keep Him in that. I, I wish we all have a better way to address whatever we're going through. But I hope you are able to find things much easier and deal with it naturally. Thank you.